but he's always about relationships. Full of energy. He's a leader. Always a, a positive person. He's wise. Very energetic in the classroom. Someone you could always rely on. He's an icon to me uh, in the JMU community. I was a history major and finance here at JMU, finance, a business minor. But in my history courses, I had an opportunity to interact with a number of faculty. And I was like, well, who is this faculty that teaches the course on African and African history? And it was Dr. Wusanza. During our first visit to JMU, uh, when we were trying to put together what the old school engagement plan would be for JMU, and uh, we were almost immediately directed to Art Dean and, and David, uh, who were the caretakers of us uh, 22 years ago. David, for us, is like the Forrest Gump of DEI. The guy is in all places. He was from Ghana. My brother-in-law is from Ghana. My sister is married to a Ghanaian. And so that was report, but it's just his personality. You know, I mean, he reminded me so much of my, my own brother. Major early achievement, I think, was setting up the program in Ghana. The first program from JMU, study abroad, to be set up in Africa. The Ghana study abroad, it's, it's, it's such a, a very comprehensive program. It's very interdisciplinary in, its, in the nature it's, it's put together, but it's also the content uh, of the material that the students have to access while they're they're in Ghana, but it's the context of the environment that they're in as well and the topics that they get to talk about. It was a remarkable experience. He was the fearless leader of the program. He was very organized, very structured, a lot of experiences that we got to um, do while we were there. It, it was an amazing experience and I'm very fortunate that I was able to um, go to that study abroad program with Dr. Musu Hansen. He was like, Aaliyah, you need to go to Ghana. And that trip changed my life. Um, and I'll never like forget that moment and him for giving me that opportunity. His uh, Preparing Future Faculty program uh, with the HBCUs, um, I think uh, was really, uh, a cool thing to do both for um, that faculty member, that potential faculty member, uh, as well as JMU. Absolutely transformative figure at the institution without ever trying at all to be a transformative figure. It was just he was living his life and doing the right thing and bringing his enormous skill set from his brilliance to his infectious personality to his judgment and, and really everything else. For me at least in knowing David, um, his greatest contribution and, and work here at the university has been working with students to provide those opportunities that otherwise students wouldn't have known about uh, or wouldn't have been able to pre even participate in. Um, you, can care, you can tell he cares deeply about the outcomes for students and, and that's, I just think that's important. It makes him special. From the Old School Alumni Scholarship Group and Charles May, we just want to thank you, man, for just being present. Thank you for being you. Thank you for not allowing whatever the situation is to change the way that you are and the things that you mean to people. You have been consistent. You have been present. You've been a mentor. You've been a scholar. All of those things have been so important to us as we have tried to be to the students. So thank you for being mentor one to the Old School Scholarship Group. We've always got stories. He was married in the summer of 1990 and I was served as best man. When I was married in 1995, he was my best man. One of my favorite is um, he loses his phone a lot. At least once a week, I think I call around, walk with my phone looking for his cell phone. He's in the process of buying a new car. I think he needs to tell all of us what kind of car he's, he, he purchased. I want to know what kind of car he's going to be driving in the future. <laughs>